Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock your iPhone uh, on iOS 5.0.1 or 5.1 uh, using a package in CD called SAM. Uh, this will work for all baseband's, and uh, like I said, it'll work for 5.0.1 or 5.1. Uh, but you will need to be jailbroken. Obviously, this package is in Cydia. If you uh, aren't sure how to do that, you can just check my uploaded videos, and I'll have tutorials. And I have tutorials uploaded on uh, how to jail jailbreak your device. And uh, the re the report that you need to add is right here. And all you have to do is hit edit and then add. And uh, the repo is it's uh, repo dot bean com. We have a little bit of a glare there, but I think you can see it clearly. Uh, so that's the source that you need to add. Uh, I myself already have it added. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel. Uh, but here's the source right there. And you're going to go ahead and go to the search and type in SAM. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be right here. You go ahead and install that. It'll install some other required files, um, like four or three of them or something like that. Uh, and then you'll have this little SIM card icon on your device after you uh, go ahead and respring. And I'm not going to be able to show you guys that this works, but I can guarantee you that it does work if you follow the process correctly. Uh, all you have to do so far is install it. So my phone is currently locked uh, to a two-year plan with AT&T. And um, what, you, what you'd have to do is open this up. And uh, you'd go to, let's see, you'd go to the utilities, and then uh, you'd click on deactivate iPhone. If you're not locked into a plan or anything like that, um, or if you don't have a plan, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, but if you do, you're going to have to deactivate that SIM card first. And uh, after you uh, deactivate it, it'll have the options to uh, de attempt deactivation and restore the activation up here. Uh, so once you, uh, once you see that, you'll know you've deactivated it. And at this point, now that you have uh, deactivated the phone, you can eject the SIM card using your SIM eject tool or like a paper clip or something like that just to, uh, to get the SIM card out. And if you guys don't know where that is on your phone, um, some of you may not know, but let me get the case off here for a second. So I uh, got the case off and you can see it right there on the, uh, the right side of the phone. There's that little holder. You just put your SIM ejector tool in there and it'll pop out the tray. Or you can use a paper clip and also uh, pop it out. But like I said, I'm not actually going to be doing this myself because I am staying with AT&T. I don't need to unlock my phone. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Um, and then you can go ahead and once you pop out your SIM card, you'd have to cut your, your other SIM card uh, to fit the tray correctly. And uh, then you can go ahead and push that into your phone. And uh, once you put your SIM card in there then, you can go ahead and go back to the main menu. And uh, you're going to make sure that this says enable. And then uh, once you have that enabled for sure, uh, then you want to go to method and make sure it is selected to auto detect. And uh, once you have both of those, once you have this enabled and uh, auto detect is selected, you go back into utilities and then like I said up here, it'll say attempt activation or restore activation. And you're going to go ahead and hit attempt activation. Now you will get an error. Do not worry if you get an error. You're, you're going to continue to keep hitting attempt activation until it goes through and activates the SIM card. Uh, successfully so you're just gonna keep hitting attempt activation um, I saw a different video and the guy like he got like three errors or something like that before it actually um, successfully activated it so don't worry it may take a few times just keep on hitting attempt activation until it uh, successfully activates that SIM card you may not get an error but if you do just don't worry it's alright uh, and, and just keep pressing until it activates it and also when you're hitting attempt activation it'll have like little dialer spinning and then once it um, successfully does it, it'll go ahead and respring. Your device will turn black and it'll have that just the dial then. It'll have just like the little dial going around and then it'll, uh, it'll respring. And right after respring, it'll detect um, what SIM card you have installed and what carrier or whatever. And it's unlocked to that carrier. And if you run into any problems, uh, well actually first of all, if uh, you want to return, like if, I, if I'm on at and right now and let's say I want to go to Verizon or something like that. And uh, now I'm unlocked to Verizon, you'd have to... Um, Go ahead and deactivate Verizon, the Verizon SIM card while it's on the phone. So you have to hit deactivate. Like right now, I'd hit deactivate, and then uh, you can take out the Verizon SIM card then, and then put back your old AT&T SIM card, and then you'd have to do the same thing you did to first of all unlock it to Verizon. If you understand what I'm saying, um, I believe I said that correctly. But you're basically just do your steps backwards, uh, and make sure you deactivate the SIM card that you just activated uh, before you do it. Now also if you run into your problems where it's not working, like for some reason if you just keep on hitting attempt and it's not activating, or if it's having problems deactivating the SIM card or whatever, uh, go ahead and go back into Cydia, and then go into uh, the Beaner repo, 
you can see uh, right here is the bean and repo. You're going to go into that. And then I don't know, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly or not. I think you can you should be able to see it. But you're gonna you're gonna uninstall everything in here. So uh, these three right here and that top one, you're gonna uninstall all those and then go ahead and go back to Sam and install install it again. And it should automatically install all these other ones uh, because those are required for Sam to work. So just uninstall it and then reinstall it by um, by removing all these and then try it again. And if you get an error um, trying to activate it again or attempt the activation, it'll say. Just make sure you keep on hitting that, and it should do it. Uh, just just make sure you hit it a few times at least before you before you try to remove it and then reinstall it. But that is it, guys. Those are a few tips to if you run into any problems or anything like that. Uh, but I hope this works for you guys. If you run into any other problems, comment down below and I'll see if we can help you out. Um, like I said, I'm not actually going to show you guys this because I'm not going to deactivate my SIM card because I don't I don't have it to I don't have to unlock it to anything else. Um, I'm going to stay with AT and T. Uh, but this should work for you guys. Um, and make sure to just try those steps if it does not work for you the first time or whatever. With that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, I'd appreciate a like down below. That helps me out. Um, and also, if you want to subscribe at the top to get notifications for my, my future videos. Currently, I have a series for the iOS 5.1 Untethered Jailbreak updates. And when that jailbreak is actually released, I will put a tutorial out for that. Uh, so if you, want to, if you want any of that content or my future videos, go ahead and subscribe at the top. And uh, you'll receive that content on your YouTube homepage or by email if you select that option also. That is it, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.